Hey everyone, happy 2023. We're back uh, making programming videos again um, with a new name. If you didn't see the channel update, which I posted a few days ago, you can have a look here or here somewhere. Um, and I'll link to that. Um, in today's video, we're going to be looking at queue tables where we're going to take a show flow like this, it's one that I've uh, essentially just borrowed from a previous show and modified to to create our fictional award show and we're going to use that as a structure via the Q tables function in disguise so here I've taken the projector out of the start scene but it's basically just a very very simple um, disguise start project um, in order to generate the um, initial queue table. I'm just going to create some section breaks at the at the size of section that I think I'm going to want to use for the show. So, for me, my uh, each of my queues is going to be 15 seconds long, uh, and that's just something that I know I like to do when I'm programming a show like this. Having set that up, I can now right-click on the track, go export queue table. It'll tell me where in the show structure, the, in the um, disguise file structure, where to look for that, that queue table. So if we go into objects, table, and there, there is, if we op just open that in like a text editor, we can see D3 has basically exported the information about this timeline um, into a tab to limited format. So. Uh, we can then edit that and bring in the, the structure of the show that we're programming. So the way that I like to do this is if I take that PDF we were given by our fictional production, I'm just going to use, there's a, there's a few different services available, I like to use the uh, Adobe version, I think you might need a might need an Adobe subscription to make this work, but um, there's definitely some free versions of this around if you don't. Um, export to, so this is going to convert that PDL, PD, PDL, PDF to an, an Excel format. Let's see. There we go. And we just, we just want to download this. So, uh, Okay, so we've gone from uh, PDF to Excel. We can delete that. So the the format, the um, the software that I like to use for modifying the queue table is Google Sheets. I just find that it imports and exports the the tab delimited format that we're going to use for this quite nicely. And I've had a few formatting sort of issues with Excel, but I know it's definitely possible. Um, so we're just going to import uh, a file into Google Sheets. If I go to my D3 projects and find that text file that we, we were looking at previously. It's going to load this and then I use detect automatically. We could tell it that it's tab delimited, but um, that tends to work just fine for me. There we go. So that data that was in that text file has now been turned into a table. The Excel sheet that we're going to use, so this is this is the show structure we've been given by production. Um, I'm going to grab, this is going to be the main event really, it's like what's going to happen in each of those queues. So if we copy that, it's just control C, now I'm just going to stick it over here not like that. So uh, if you just paste things ordinarily with control V, you get all the formatting, so it looks like that, which is not really what we want. So if we go paste special values only, um, and these these are essentially the the names of the sort of each queue, I suppose, or what the, the details of what's gonna happen in each queue. So I'm just gonna, 
I just want that, I've just pasted that a little bit too high. I want that in line with um, our sort of first section break. So each one of these represents a section break in D3. Has, um, I'm just gonna paste that down. So uh, D3 originally, before it became uh, timeline, uh, sort of time orientated, was always based on beats and bars, and that kind of still underlies the, the structure of it. So on our left hand side, we've got beat numbers, and then these are our time codes. So as you saw me at the, the start of this, I was creating section breaks every 15 seconds. And these, because we've not set a time code tag, the time code for that uh, timeline basically starts at zero. So our track time and our time code time are going to be the same on this. However, if we'd set a time code tag, then these numbers would different. Uh, would be different. This basically just tells us that the yes, it's like a a, a boolean. Um, so zero for no section break. Um, one one four section break. So we want our section breaks there. So we can we can use the we can expand this using the power of sort of uh, numbers. Is it numbers? Google Sheets. There we go. I'm get my get my products mixed up. Um, we can just just drop these down to allow it to continue to sort of follow the pattern in the numbers. So that's good. That's going to give us the, the actual stru show structure that we want. So a queue every 15 beats or every 15 seconds, and then uh, our notes column is where we're going to want to put this information. However, I'm going to want to add a little bit to that. So um, as well as our queue description, I think it's always useful to have the item number as the show called is likely to call things by item number. So I'm going to grab those, remembering that the show opener starts at one and this is almost like Q0. So we stick that in there again. We've not used that paste values only. This is really Q3A rather than QA. So, and what, exactly what I said before, show start is really cues at zero. So let's let's paste that in the right place. That would be an easy mistake to make. Um, so uh, what I want to do is combine the item number with the um, queue description, and then probably stick something in between just to separate those two things. So what I'm going to use is a uh, a sheet function called concat, uh, short for concatenate. Uh, it's basically just joining multiple strings together. So we need an equals concat. Uh, and if we do that, we're going to say we want the number, then we want a space something to separate them, another space, um, and then our third part, not a number. Ah, concat was only, sorry, two parts. Uh, we need the full concatenate in order to make this uh, a three-parter. So uh, the result of that is our um, item number, uh, our two slashes that we use to divide these two things just for like a visual reference, and then the description of the queue. I'm gonna pull that down so it copies the formula down, and that gives us um, what I would like to copy sort of back into the, the notes column. The only thing I'll say is there is a finite amount of space between um, each of these queues. So we probably aren't going to be able to use all of this information. I'm just going to get rid of Excel because I don't think we need that anymore. If we copy, let's have a look. Um, these three I think are fine. I think we don't need things like lasers, track duration. So we're going to just 
put that down to our artist name and then we're going to do the same here. Typically they're only going to perform once um, you know in a in a show like this. Um, and then we know who our presenters are so we'll probably cut that down just to say that's a host link and this one we might just say it's like walk on and intro nominations. There we go. That that feels that feels more manageable. Uh, so gonna copy these. Now again, we need to um, paste the values. If we don't do that, and we just paste, it all gets a bit confusing because it's actually pasted the formula rather than the values, the the sort of final results. So. That's a uh, kind of a gotcha. So here we go. This is this is what this is what we want our queue table to look like. I'm gonna get rid of all of our kind of working space there because that'll just confuse matters and won't make things work properly. So this is exactly as we need it. What we can do now is we need to export this back. So we down download tab separated values. Got to throw this in my my downloads. So, if we open this up back in the text editor again, we can see this is all formatted correctly. In order for it to, uh, the easiest way for this to be, just finding your finder window there. The easiest way for this to um, be inserted back into the D3 project we probably is to turn it back into the same same file file name that we used to export including that um, file extension there this is track one q table text so even though this is a tsv we can retain that data and turn it back into a text file so those two file names should match i'm now going to copy this and it's going to complain that we're going to overwrite that should be fine now back in disguise, we can gonna re-import that queue table and now all the information from our PDF has been imported into disguise. I can then come along and my my way, which isn't isn't everybody's favourite for generating um, new modules in, in disguise is to do control N which is actually new notes. So we're editing this value here, tab and then you can label your your module before you add it to the timeline so this might be i don't know intro video or something like that so it just gives you a framework based on the actual show flow to program your video um onto the timeline given given all the right bits so i hope that was useful um and we'll do some more videos soon take care